an instrument with a rather unique and captivating sound. I like to make use of lots of different instruments in the music that I make. And for that reason, I try to collect musical instruments wherever I can. But I also like to try and either make instruments or find other items and to turn them into an instrument that we can make use of. A rather unique and captivating sound that we can make use of. <clears throat> so in today's video, I'm just going to show you my latest musical instrument, which I made. I didn't really make it. It's more like a found object that I've just sort of adapted to make it a little bit more user friendly, a little bit more playable. And I think it's going to come in very useful in some of my future productions. So I wanted to share that with you and to hopefully get you to take another look and to see the potential musical instruments that are all around us that you can make use of in your music. Let's get to it and I'll reveal what this musical instrument is and what it was before it became a musical instrument. <laughs> So what is this instrument of which I speak? Well, here it is. It's a clay pot essentially, and it's a, a wind instrument. Now I know there are, or I'm familiar with ocarinas, which are clay wind instruments. They're a lot smaller. And there's probably some other instrument in world music that this resembles, but I'm just not familiar with what they are or what they would be called. So what was it originally? Well, if I just grab this as well, and you can probably see that this used to be a lamp. Uh, the lampshade got damaged. The wiring was a little bit dodgy, a bit unsafe. The switch had sort of broken. And rather than try and repair it or just throw it away, I really like the shape of this pot, the base of the lamp, and I thought maybe I can use this. So this hole here is where the wire came out. I just sort of br literally wrenched the top off, broke the top, and then I've just filed and sanded this down and maybe I should just give you a quick demonstration of what it sounds like if I can place the camera somewhere so that I can actually play this thing. It's not easy to play but... Okay so my first attempt to play this was atrocious so I'm going to give this another go and let's see if I can get the technique down a little bit better. Okay. At this stage, we have a perfectly functioning instrument, but I want to do a couple of things to improve it, hopefully. The first thing is, as it is at the moment, there's a huge hole in the bottom, which means that when I try and play it, I have to try and cup my hand to block that hole up so that we can actually get a decent sound out of it, which doesn't make it the easiest so sort of when trying to play it, obviously if I take my hand away, 
we don't get a usable sound out of it. So what I intend to do is I've got some leather here. I've just marked out a circle that is more or less the same diameter as this. So I'm going to cut that out, glue that on, and then hopefully that will mean that I can play this without needing to sort of cup the bottom of it. Now at the moment it only has one hole to generate a tone, so we can either have it open or closed, so we get two notes out of it essentially. If I were to put more holes in this we could effectively get some more notes. Now obviously this hole was made before the pot was even fired, so to come along afterwards and try and drill a hole through the glaze and through the pot, I mean it's quite a fragile thing, we could ruin it. So I'm kind of debating whether or not to do that, but that's the other modification I may make to it.
Okay, so I've made a decision and I am going to have a go at putting some more holes in this. My thinking is that I'm going to try and put two extra holes in here. So we'll have three finger holes and the blow hole. I don't know what you call that. Yeah, three holes, which should give us four notes in total. So that should mean that we have a more versatile instrument or I'm going to mess this up and we should get an entertaining video with me destroying the instrument that I've just spent time trying to make. So hopefully it's a win-win either way. Now, because this is glazed, I think I'm gonna try using some masonry drill bits, the ones that have the carbide inserts in the top to try and drill through this. And then once, hopefully, we've made a hole I'm going to then have to resize the hole to get it in tune. Now I've done a quick test and this isn't really in tune to begin with. What was it? Yeah, we have an A, let me think about this. Yeah, we have an A sharp, but it's sharp. And with the hole open, we have a D sharp that's flat or a D natural that's sharp. So it's not really in tune anyway. So maybe I'm not gonna to worry too much about the tuning. We're just gonna <laughs> try and make a couple of holes in this and hope that we don't destroy it. Or at least if we do destroy it, we destroy it in a fun and entertaining way. So yeah, let's just give it a go, shall we? I'm really happy with the resulting instrument. I think that the sound and the emotion that it evokes is kind of captivating and transformative in that it feels like you're either transported back in time or to a distant location. I hope this video is giving you some food for thought in that maybe it inspires you to forego a sense of needing to be technically proficient at playing an instrument to include it in your music and also in trying to open your eyes to potential musical instruments that are all around us, these everyday objects that can become 
pivotal in the music we're making. Thank you, as always, for joining me on my explorations in the new ways to explore music and create items to make music with. I appreciate you being here. I don't know what you've got planned for the rest of the day, for the rest of the month, the year, your life, but whatever you do, I hope that you are inspired to go and do something creative, that you are making sure to take care of yourselves mentally and physically to do the same for others, to look out for them. And I will see you again real soon. Peace out.